Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Terraria. This is part I have zero fucking idea because I am way too lazy to actually keep track of anything in the world. So what I'm going to do is put away this new banner we got and I'm going to be talking about what happened off camera. So what happened off camera is you also end the episode with a solar eclipse where we died many, many, many many times and we lost lots and lots and lots of money but we got a couple of things that we got the twin summon so now we can summon the twins to fight for us a little mini twin and a mini laser twin i got a new uh companion where's the companion here we go All right yeah we got a new companion it's the eye spring as you can see it springs it's lowable I made the mechanical minecart which we will check out at some point if we can and last but certainly not least uh we got do, 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 this it's literally the true knight's edge now the true knight's edge is made by using the knight edge and a broken hero sword then you use excalibur and a broken hero sword to make true excalibur which i didn't make because uh i had to choose between true knight's edge and true excalibur and true knight's edge did more damage I think we can make something with True Knight's Edge to... Yes, the Terror Blade, which uses True Excalibur and True Knight's Edge. So I just need one more broken uh, blade. And then I can make the uh, Terror Blade, which is obviously the upgraded version of the True Knight's Edge. But without further ado, I also decided to, since I was doing nothing anyway, to clear out this area, make it a little bit more like smooth and flat. It's kind of annoying me, a little bubbly and edgy and... I don't really like that, so I did that. I haven't finished the brick wall yet. I have the bricks, I just wasn't in the mood to do it. Um, what else did I do? Oh yeah, I went to check my... I went to check my uh, little area here. My little Plantera arena. And there literally is a Plantera bulb. And there's also apparently a life food right next to Plantera bulb, which is great. Um... There's actually a plantera bulb in my arena. So that is exactly what I was hoping would happen. And it's exactly what happened. And that makes me very happy. Because obviously now I can fight plantera very easily. Because I already have arena set up. I, while doing that, you might have noticed that the area is slightly cleaner. Well, I got rid of some of slash all the chlorophyte here. Because I can now mine chlorophyte. Because we have the pickaxe axe. Which allows us to mine chlorophyte, which is great. So, we are going to go mine chlorophyte. An easy way to do it is go to Hull, because we know in Hull, there was a shit ton of chlorophyte, guys. So, we're going to get doing that today, making some chlorophyte stuff, making the turtle armor, getting chlorophyte things. I'm um, thinking what I want with chlorophyte. Um, um, put that there. And then what was here? It's a mega shark. Ah, here we go. So we're gonna make some chlorified things with the chlorified chlorified bullets. I know we need specifically, and I'm just trying to remember what the other thing I wanted the chlorified for was, except for the turtle armor. I just can't remember right now. And I think I did want chlorified thing else. So we'll we'll do that as we go. So we're just gonna kind of like run towards where the jungle biome is, because that's kind of our goal right now. Is to make it to the jungle biome. Um. Because, oh my word, okay, I need to at some point clean up. I made the jungle bomb ready, that was actually like, quicker than I just made it. So with this weapon I have, I'm pretty strong right now. Uh, and by pretty strong, I'm pretty much unkillable, basically. So it's really cool, because this weapon just absolutely demolishes anything and everything in its path. If something looks at this weapon in the wrong way, just like, you know, maybe says hi or, you know, invades my privacy, this weapon destroys it, so it's great. Also, the twins are decent, they can do some work for me, so it's kind of good. I don't know why I'm still mining uh, motor and stuff, but I am. As you can see, but that I tell you, the weapon is insane. Okay, so we're gonna get the chlorophyte. We have chlorophyte, so let's go. What do you want to do? We want to find some chlorophyte. Now, chlorophyte is like an odd thing. Chlorophyte, what it does is it actually spreads. It's like a, it's like a disease, almost. It literally is an element that will spread out depending on how much 
mud there is next to the chlorophyte. Now, unfortunately, there's only a certain amount of chlorophyte you can kind of farm for free uh, and uh, will grow. It cannot grow forever. It actually does have a limit. What's happening down here? Okay. Guys, guys, hello, what's happening? I'm time for this right now. It's still taking a tiny bit of damage. We're not unstoppable yet. Once we get total armor, we're pretty much gonna head on into that a little bit more unstoppable type of uh, area. But for now, we still, we still can take damage. We can take damage. So we still need to keep that in mind and play conservatively enough. Okay, I do see some chlorophyte down there though. So I'm gonna go get it. A little bit of a hard place to the chlorophyte. There's a lot of lava here. We can only get involved with. But the reason I'm farming this chlorophyte out is because I want to farm out all the chlorophyte by the lava. Because I don't want chlorophyte from my blood of lava. You understand? I want the chlorophyte to pretty much be freebied in areas that are not going to get me killed when I'm trying to farm the chlorophyte. Does it make sense, guys? Okay, good. We're going to mine the chlorophyte. Beautiful. Now, chlorophyte, uh, as I mentioned, is not too like difficult to get hold of or anything because you can grow it. Um, but it, it's very late game because you need the pickaxe sacks to get it and you get the pickaxe sacks by killing all three of the mechanical bosses which means you physically cannot have okay this spawn rate doesn't look natural to me what's happening right now game is it because it's a jungle and power biome at the same time potentially let's just eat a, a fish so we can have slightly more stats Increases our damage as well as just giving us a little bit more everything, so it's just good. So you'll notice I'm actually mining out all of the chlorophyte in these areas, right? I'm not, I'm not just mining out some of it. I'm specifically mining all of the chlorophyte. Well, that is because, as I mentioned, I don't want any chlorophyte buff in how I want the chlorophyte kind of in my jungle safe area type situation. So what I'm doing right now is to get. That done, I just want to get rid of all the score for as quickly as I can. That is very low. And these ready does, of course, just to mine it up a bit. So now that we've got this really, really good sword, I mean, it's already a really good sword, but we can get an even better version. We can get the Terror Blade. Which the Terror Blade, as you saw, was the fusion of this and the Excalibur. So obviously, it's even better. Uh, but the question I have is will I need it? You know, will I need the Terror Blade? I don't think so, but we'll find out. As we go. It does feel nice though being strong because of how long we were so I was struggling. I was kinda getting my about, about hand to me by the game a little bit. The game was was reminding me who the boss was. So the boss was of course the game, not me. Uh, but now I'm the boss again, so now it feels really good. It, it's just this really odd difficulty spike from normal to hard mode. And I always feel like hard mode just requires you to die a couple of times and once you've died a couple of times then you're fine but until you've actually died those first couple of times you're kind of not fine and then you're kind of weak and that's not a it's not a great feeling so that is actually going to that cool fight there and there will actually grow and spread some more I do think however though that there was um, a big way a big thing of cool fight here I thought uh, that is a extremely large cool fight vein in one of these um one of these jungle biome deposits uh, very close to the ground but I don't know oh, where it was and by the, the ground of course I'm talking about the lava so you notice when this shoots it shoots a flying yellow sword which is fucking cool hello I'm, I literally am using a weapon that shoots a giant thing so the floor, I'm here so it can still be anywhere here all the way up to around here. So the core fight shouldn't be further than this, but I'm kind of feeling like I should either have missed the giant core fight all way, or I misremembered where it was. One or two. Obviously, you know, we aren't immortal yet. Let's not make that mistake of thinking, oh, we are stopping now. We are not. Not even close. But. We are much, much stronger, and that's a good thing. I'm still gonna collect like this one stuff, even though we don't need it, whatever. It's fine, I'll mine it up. I don't mind. Mm -hmm. 
So we do need one more solar eclipse, obviously, to get the item we need, which is, of course, the... Um, which is the uh, true Excalibur. So we need a broken hero sword. And the broken hero sword, apparently, it looks to me like I get it from... Either exclusively from Mothron, or Mothron is the thing that one of the enemies that drop it, or something like that. I'm not entirely sure exactly, but, you know. That, I don't think, will be too hard to figure out as we go. Here we go, that's a nice little... That is a nice little floor find mining section i remember specifically i was like i remember there being a lot of chlorophyte pretty low in the on the map so i was like i knew if i went down to the bottom here i would find chlorophyte pretty easily and that's why i immediately went instead of going to the jungle like most people might they might be like well we need chlorophyte chlorophyte in the jungle let's just head on over to the jungle i was like no let's head to hell baby because i spent so much time in hell because i was getting my butt handed to me so much <laughs> I accidentally, or I guess you could say, not maybe of purpose, but I ended up in a situation where I was spending so much time in how that I kind of memorized a lot of how. Not all of how, just a lot of how. Nice big glorified vein here. It's a pretty decent glorified vein, so I must admit, I, I, can't, be, I can't be upset about it. Now, glorified bullets are great, they like homing, they're homing bullets basically. They literally home things, so who doesn't want chlorified bullets basically? You need to go, you've actually annoyed me the last time. All, all of you are annoyed me the last time. All, all of you died right now. I was gonna let you all live, I was gonna be kind and peaceful and all that other stuff, but now you piss me off. So now you're So how is still a pain in the butt with these enemies that are shooting? Uh, through. But yeah, we are gonna get the jungle is actually like set up for pre uh, boss, pre uh, pre mechanical bosses because once you okay, beat the mechanical bosses, that's when you unlock glorified farming, right? And what also unlocks when you beat the mechanical bosses? Life stones. As you can see, I already have two life stones. We're all going to transfer a bulb to just test if it was actually correct. I happen to get. To uh, life things. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Okay, that way more damage than this. 35 seconds of my heal. I'm a little bit worried. A little, a little bit worried, but not too worried. Just a little bit. Especially if a guy teleports behind me, then I worry a little bit more, but that's fine. There's a voodoo doll thing. Obviously, we wouldn't want to accidentally activate that because. We don't, we, I mean, we could probably beat the Wall of Faith, but not on 60 HP and not on with uh, what I've got going right now. That's all I'm gonna say. Ooh, that was a, that was actually a very scary situation. That was a very, very scary, that was a, we could have gone to game over situation right there. And by game over, I just mean dying. There's no actual game over, so I lucky. But, uh, we're gonna play it carefully, we're gonna play it carefully. Even though we are insanely strong, we can still take the normal damage. Because we've only got a stronger weapon. So our DPS has gone has improved dramatically because of the twin summon and the true knight's edge and all that. But our HP and our tankiness are still pretty much the same, right? So that actually hasn't significantly improved yet. So I'm gonna quickly mine this out and then I'm gonna show you guys the mechanical cart that we got. We, we did make it, we might as well show it off. Immediately gonna kill that guy so it doesn't go through me too many times to do lots of damage. This time I'm just gonna take him out I mean, Look how nice see the chlorophyte uh, spread here. This chlorophyte is awesome. Oh, I'm actually fucking fighting lava, you're debating me right now. That, that feels like one of those things that like, that's like one of those fucking stupid Noob moves like I found in lava, yay! <laughs> it falls in lava at this point in the game, honestly. And yeah, I do. So as you guys can notice, we are obviously doing a lot more damage, but we mechanical. Thing. Is that a pantera bomb? It is a pantera bomb. Just kidding. Nice, nice little pantera bomb. Exactly what you want on your on your map. Lots and lots of Pantera Bobs. That's obviously not a good Pantera Bob because you can fight that one if you wanted to. We'll, I mean, we could probably fight it actually. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But, uh, I'm not painting. 
Now my question is, what? When is enough glow? When is what's enough glow? Like that, that's the one thing I'm not entirely sure of myself. I'm hearing noises. Like really? Did you, Mr. Elizabeth? Did you the noises I'm hearing? I think you were the noises I was hearing. I feel like I'm at the end. Ooh. He dropped the thing. Let's pick it up and let's get rid of Ash Block for a strong rally. I think we have one. Ooh, I see spiders today, so titanium down there. Wow, uh, remember the days when we were looking for titanium, guys? Oh, those days, those are the simple days. Just dying all the time, looking for some titan uh, yeah, titanium. It was, it was glorious. I'm gonna go through here pretty quickly, but. Let's see some, see some more chlorophyte right up there. To get that chlorophyte. Once again, as I said, as I, said I don't know how much uh, chlorophyte is enough chlorophyte, but usually, I mean, I usually made giant chlorophyte farms just to real, just to find out that you don't really need them, right? There's more than enough in the jungle. You're never gonna mine it all up, which means there's always gonna be one chlorophyte thing somewhere random that is just making more chlorophyte, and you know, it's great. But I think that's enough. Let's go back. I think that should be more than enough chlorophyte for now. Let's quick stack everything. Ba, 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 ba. Everything we don't want like this can get killed. Can get killed. The seeds are actually valuable. I'll keep those. We got a new uh, banner. An uh, army skeleton banner. I love it when you get new banners. They're my, they're my jam. And uh, we got another voodoo doll for some of your twins, I guess. And uh, I'll put that there for now. So, we want to go into our ore chest. 365 chlorophyte. Uh, before that, let me take out the chlorophyte instead and actually just see if there's only chlorophyte bars we can make before we use them all. We don't want to use them all in case we need the ore. Uh, chlorophyte brick. Chlorophyte brick? I think that that could be pretty cool. A chlorophyte, a chlorophyte base. I think that could be really cool and also one of the most expensive bases in the game probably, right? But I'm gonna just make a lot of bricks, a lot of bars for now because I think we're probably gonna need. How much bars does it take to make a chlorophyte bar? It takes more than five pieces to make a chlorophyte bar. That feels a little bit excessive. Anyway, let's go to our hard mode chest. Get the turtle shells. Get the chlorophyte. Now we should be able to make turtle armor, turtle helmet, increased melee damage. Enemies are more likely to target you. I don't think that's a good thing, but okay. And uh, turtle scale mail. And uh, turtle leggings. We only have one piece of turtle shell left, so I hope it was worth it. We should also see what turtle shell makes. Does it only make this armor or does it make anything else in the game? Nope, it only makes the armor. That's great. Okay. So we're pretty much done with turtle sh uh, armor face game. So we have 75 defense right now, and our bonuses we get uh, 17 increased melee movement speed is our set bonus. So we're going to switch that out for the turtle armor. And that takes us up to 90 defense, 90, and our set bonus is enemies are more likely to target you, set bonus attackers also take full damage. So when I get hit, everything takes full damage from me, baby. That is crazy. That's absolutely crazy. And we went up to 90 defense, 90 defense. We absolutely are destroying it now with defense, 90 defense. As I said, the highest defense I've seen in the game, I think was 100 because of the... Um, I'm gonna put this away for now because we actually open up the slot. Uh, because I am actually, or I actually very often uh, do use the beetle armor, which you get from beating Golem. And uh, I think that is technically uh, one of the strongest armors because I've never, I've never really, I've only played Moonlord like once. So I'm not actually like very confident on my Moonlord uh, information. So I don't want to say anything about it that I could be wrong about. So like I don't want to say like, yo, um, the Moonlord gives you, or the, the Celestial Towers uh, give you X or Y or Z because I actually just don't know. I honestly don't know myself. So I don't want to make a statement that I have no proof or no way to back. So for now, I'm just going to rather be safe and say, as far as I know, the uh, what should we more moon grass? I guess it's a very nice way to do it. If you hold the control, it will just auto set it to anywhere where there is an opening, which is great. Okay, now we can quick stack here. Beautiful moon glow goes in here, and uh, that takes care of that. So, 90 armor. We have the true knight's edge, we've got the unreal mega shark. 
we have a lot of good stuff but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go and quickly make chlorophyte bullets as well i kind of forgot about those i think i might need uh normal bullets to make chlorophyte ammo i think but i'm not entirely sure i can make chlorophyte arrows but i cannot make chlorophyte bullets what do chlorophyte bounces back after hitting a wall yeah i think the chlorophyte bullets themselves are homing though so let's rather do that I kind of just want to leave that open, but I don't want things getting to my base because I always get to my base to kill things. Shop. I don't need these crystal bullets. How much will you give me for it? Very little. Okay. Something. Also, I don't need these uh, arrows. Shop. Take these arrows. Is it daytime? Nice. It went to daytime. A little bit of a bonus, so we don't have to worry about yeah, fighting super scary monsters. Caught in the jungle. I mean, you know what? I happen to be going to the jungle right now, so that works out great. Started, uh, started with the castle modifications, since this is supposed to be a glass castle, as I mentioned before. So I've started that now. Shouldn't be too expensive to buy enough of these. We probably don't need more than like 2,000, but I'll get like 3,000 to be safe. There we go. It's kind of zero. It's a little bit faster. Get to the... What the fuck? That was scary. When <laughs> all my things actually came back to me, I was like, what the fuck? Um, where is there's my qualified bars and I will make qualified bullets chases off to your enemy yes that's what I want. as I said it's pretty much am I out of qualified oh I actually did run out of, okay I didn't actually think I could run out of qualified so that's a nice little uh, wake up call means I need more qualified so what's the best way to get more qualified baby to the jungle we've got two things in the jungle thing number one in the jungle as like I said, I'm making my uh, my Patreon requested glass castle because it's just how I am, man. It's just how I am. But anyway, um, we need to head on over to the jungle. Now we're going to the jungle for two reasons. Obviously, we want more chlorophyte, so we can use that chlorophyte to get more chlorophyte bullets. I want at least three thousand, just in case. I'll feel safer with three thousand. Thousands probably enough to beat. Pantera? Question marks? Not entirely sure, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, I want I want about three thousand to fight Pantera with. Uh, so we want to go into the jungle. I think we can go in the first entrance. Should be fine, honestly. Ooh, we've got ninety things. How much damage you take? I, we still take eighty damage with ninety armor. I don't I don't always understand the game's damage calculations. I've got ninety armor. and I'm still taking damage. Just one of these. Always be well fed, ladies and gentlemen. Always be well fed. So now we're pretty much just looking for chlorophyte and for heart fruits. Heart fruits, guys. They are great. Do I have a, uh, do I have a splunky potion? Actually, ah, uh, fuck that. Mm, I think I'm going to get a splunky potion. But I'm not sure if I need to. Um, that should be fine without one. Let's not get a splunky potion. It's okay. So, that test, you see how much damage I took? Didn't pan out exactly like I wanted to, because I still ended up taking like way more damage than I anticipated I was going to take. I felt like I was immortal, and I've now found out that I'm not immortal with 90 on my after all. So, some what looks to be some cool fight there, so let's go get it. Excuse me. Thank you. Why can I not get this roll fight? It's impossible. It's the un uh, unobtainable problem. Oh, I was very little. So, a fight apparently seems to be very expensive to make. Uh, I'm actually decided I've changed my mind. I'm gonna go back to base. I'm gonna quickly put this claw fight away. The reason I'm putting this claw fight away is two reasons. A, I wanna see exactly how much claw fight it takes to make a bar. I think it's probably 10, right? Six. Oh, it takes six. It takes six. Okay, that's not too bad. And then I want to get a Spelunky Potion just to... I don't have any Spelunky Potions, are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Not one Spelunky Potion? Okay. Yo, dude, how do I make a Spelunky Potion? Oh, I didn't mean to drink that water. I don't know what drinking water does in this game, but okay. <laughs> I actually had no idea you could drink water. Where's the Spelunky Potion? Spelunky potion. There we go. It uses uh, blink root, moon glow, and gold. Okay, gold ore. So like 
raining, I guess. Uh, bank root. Twenty and moon glow. Twenty and now we should be able to make twenty spelunker potions. I don't think I'm even gonna need twenty spelunker potions in the game, but I will feel better having it than not having it. So what I'm gonna do is I've decided is I'm also going to destroy this section of the map, guys. By the way, so this this entire part here is gonna go. Uh, completely. I'm gonna give it all of this, by the way, literally all of it, uh, and then up to here, and then we're gonna make like a way that I can get here without having to run around obstacles because it's kind of getting annoying. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, it's kind of getting a little bit annoying to do it like that, but yeah. You know. So we still need a little bit more crow fight, and I want to get up to 500 HP with the life fruit, so that's our goal in this episode. And if I get to 500 HP in this episode and I get enough crow fight, I will fight Plantera this episode too. But I don't know if that's gonna happen, we'll see how it goes. I first want to make sure I've got everything I want. I'm very surprised my amazing total armor that's giving me so much defense is I'm, is, I'm still I'm surprised I'm still taking damage, is what I'm trying to say. What I was trying to say, but failing spectacularly at, was to say that I... Oh yeah, we also do fire damage because we got in armored fire gun. I forgot I got that off camera. Yeah, that's the one other item I got. I think that's about it though. I don't think there's anything else I got specifically, so... Yeah, I did forget to mention that one, but that's not... Cause it's not I guess it's something that's not too important, so... Okay, uh... Oops, I didn't even see that, good boy. These fishes are always for me kind of odd, right? They feel like kind of a little bit useless. Oh my goodness. Whatever the fuck. Oh, there's a life fit right there. Whatever the hell attacked me, they did like 200 damage or something in like one second. Flat. Life fruit. So this is the life fruits. Do you get it? Boom. Right. Right. There we go. When you get it and you use it. And then you can uh, up your max HP permanently by five. It's like the basically like collecting the where we were collect or where I was, I guess, but where we were collecting before the life heart crystals. Now we collect the life crystals instead. So it's fine. Uh, you notice once again I'm, I'm I'm mining up all the uh, chlorophyte, obviously. Uh, prof more professional gamers might advise you to leave one chlorified at all times. Be like, I'm sure you leave a chlorified guy so that it will reset and make more. Co I'm not doing that, I'm sorry. I don't have the patience for that, and I want the items now so I can be cleansed. Then. Oh, I thought uh, an enemy spawned, but it was actually just my eyeball. I guess that's the only problem with having these weird summons. Okay. Uh, I feel like I'm kind of deep enough. Oh my god, is that the world's largest uh, Smithle Ore? I thought it was a Chlorified Ore. I thought that was, I thought this deposit of Mithril Ore was Chlorified. I was about to lose my mind. That would have been so amazing though. I would have been very happy, but unfortunately it wasn't. There's a little bit of Chlorified I need, but that's fine. Okay, so we're going to use this Blanky Potion soon, I think. I feel like I'm deep enough, so let's go. Um, yeah, we can just shut up the do normal buff. And yeah. Now we're gonna look for Clawfight, ladies and gentlemen. So wherever we see Clawfight, we're going for it. Um, and that's what I'm going for. I'm not gonna be really kicking anything else except for Clawfight and... Um, I guess it's right down there, so I'll go get it. But pretty much only Clawfight and life is not all I want. Everything else, not too concerned about. I have found my Pantera area. This is cool. No, I don't want to dig out my own Pantera area. So I know there's a life root plus Pantera area, but once again, we gotta ignore it. Got some palladium down here. Quite a lot of palladium, actually. And uh, where are we getting all that monster into the system? Right. So now we know it takes six qualified bars to make one qualified, or six qualified all to make one qualified bar. So now we've got a better idea of how much we need, which is always good. Also found apparently another beehive, which is also kind of good, I guess. I don't know. The only thing I will do is if you see there's a single claw card like that, I'll ignore it. Because that one kind of feels not worth it. I'm like getting that one is definitely not worth it in my opinion. Is it ready? 
Yo, I'm boss, man. I will get you, motherfucker. Where's the B? Queen B summon. Down here. No Queen B summon in this behind? Up there it is. Okay, so she should die in like a couple of seconds. I don't know why I'm fighting the Queen B. I'm supposed to be farming the floor fight, but I've got serious problems with time management and remembering to do things, so. Yeah, I think she's absolutely. I think the Queen B was literally doing zero damage to us there, so. That's interesting. There's a lot of glow fight up there. Let's get it. How many glow fight? Ooh, we're gonna fight the beehive, which is always interesting. I love the. I like the mechanics involved when you fight the beehive. It's, it's kind of cool. Ah, it wasn't actually that much glow fight over here, but we'll get it in nonetheless. Let's go. Monkey potion thing. There's another heart potion, which is beautiful. We love it. We love the monkey potions. We love the benefits they give, of course. We have to see where everything is. And just go straight forward, not have to waste any time with nonsense. Just be like, I want that, I'm gonna go get it. It's mine now, you know? I feel like that's kind of a very, like, it's not, it's not a horrible way to approach life. It's obviously maybe not the ideal way to approach life, but I think, like, uh, if you want something, you should go for it type deal is a pretty good uh, way to approach life. And, uh, it's why I'm trying so hard on YouTube, guys. I want YouTube to work. I, it's what I want to do. So, I'm going to give it my all. Just a little bit of profile over here. I will use the sword to speed up the process. I know about the life gem, but better. I wasn't going I wasn't gonna get it. I was going to ignore it. But now, since I'm here, I'm just going to get it quickly. It serves two purposes. It gives me the uh, the life gem, which I kind of want. The life book, sorry. And also, I get to... Well, I'm quite a lot of um, glorified while I'm doing this. So you can see here, blah, 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 blah. beautiful, 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 lots and lots of enemies. And there should be a life tree right there. Gotta take care of these enemies first because these enemies are quite a lot uh, in this area. It's like I made a battle arena in the jungle, which I, now that I have had time to reconsider my life choices, I'm not entirely sure if that was the best choice. So the life food has awoken. Pantera's bulb, I think you actually have to pick axe itself to get. And I think that is also done by design, so that you do not accidentally start the Pantera boss fight by shooting a ranged weapon, for instance, like the sword that shoots out other swords when you use it. You know, so you don't accidentally end up having to fight Pantera and then you get your ass hand to and then you're upset. But you got your ass hand into it, you know what I'm saying? So this is a very great place to farm jungle items if you want jungle items guys come here to farm it uh excuse me you also might notice a little couple of blocks on your map that are excuse me Perfect fight spawn here don't even know how that happened but okay uh you might notice a couple of blocks that are in your way when you're gonna be fighting uh Pantera. so you're actually very happy to find that early and get it out of the way okay we got the life root here let's continue on more clover fight, baby. Cause that's what we actually came for. We don't care about Pantera right now. Pantera is an end game. No, I don't want to flood my. I don't want to flood my arena. God damn it! Now I've got to literally go down there and I got to dig out one escape route for that water. Okay, maybe don't dig around the Pantera. I think maybe don't dig around the Pantera base. How does that sound? Okay, so just do this. Get there. All that water can drain, kill the bug. Take kind of away from the Pantera thing, just in case I can proc it by hitting it, which I don't think I can, but I'd rather be safe than. Sorry, mud, I need mud right now. Mud, I need to fix the Pantera base. There we go. On, isn't it so cool, guys? I bought this with the hope that a Pantera bulb would spawn and, and legitimately a Pantera bulb spawn. How, how awesome is that? It's almost as if it was meant to be. Of course, it was meant to be because I planned it like a. Is that a fruit? Oh, it's a fruit. That was a fruit, and I couldn't see it was a fruit because I did not have my Spelunky potion. So you can do it. So I'm gonna quickly heal and I'm gonna use my Spelunky potion. I'm gonna hit on that. So how much core fight do we want? Well, I would say about 600 pieces if possible. I think 600 might be asking a little bit much, but I'm gonna give it my best go. 
to get to 600 here. I do see a couple of big glorified uh, veins, which look, always look exciting for me as a gamer. There we go. Let's quickly run this way. I know it's a little, maybe a little bit boring, you know, the content, you know, just digging around town. Driving fast. Da -da 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 -da. No, that's something completely different, um, but anyway, uh, it might be a little bit boring just farming, glorified, getting glorified bullets, getting the turtle armor, getting some life gems, you know, all that actually really important good stuff, but I think I should show it off anyway, because at the end of the day, like I said, it is important good stuff, it's, it's things you have to do in Toro, I mean, okay, technically you don't, I guess you could be like, well, I'm not going to use anything glorified, but right? I don't want total armor and I don't want the uh, glorified homing bullets that actually home and destroy an enemy so I'm not sure why you wouldn't want that but you know to each their own as they say um but I do so I'm gonna get I would like some kind of lifesteal Troy I think that would help go a long way to increasing my strength imagine if I gain HP for every time I hurt an enemy I would pretty much never die again, man. Okay. It looks like a bummer area, so we're just gonna go away. I don't see a car fight, I don't see a life gem. Well, I want to score from life gem, so I'm kind of just ignoring everything that's not called from life gem right now. I'm stuck! I'm stuck! The game's over, GG, well played, we lost. There you go, more car fight, more car fight. Life gem's actually not that easy to see, I've noticed. Do you guys know this? It kind of like I see one there, but it's not really shining. You guys see that? Like it's there. I can see it because like I'm not blind. I mean, I'm kind of blind. Let's not fucking joke around. But at the same time, I'm not actually blind. I just have very bad eyesight because of being retarded and not listening to my parents like I should have as a kid. And they were like, you should not sit right in front of the TV. And I was like, why? I want to sit right in front of the TV. You can't force me not to sit in front of the TV. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit in front of the TV. I'm gonna, is that another beehive? Oh my god, game, relax with the beehives. You don't need 8 million beehives in the game. You only need two. We needed like two beehives total. That was it. Of course, there's like 80 enemies in this one tiny little block, which is always for me extremely funny and also fascinating because it's like, really? You're gonna put that many enemies in one singular area? Fighting compression is going for two more minutes, so we still got time to attempt to find uh, some more life fruits, some more uh, chlorophyte. Where are we at now on chlorophyte, by the way? We're at 300 chlorophyte, and you guys saw how quickly 300 chlorophyte vanished, so it was only 60 bars. Uh, wait, it was 360 was 60 bars, so 6 bars per, or oh, 6 chlorophyte all per bar. I feel like I was here already, and I don't know why I didn't mind this chlorophyte, but okay, I'm mad now. Maybe I wasn't here. I don't know. It's also why I waited this long before making the Terraria, other uh, the Plantera uh, spawn room. Some people might say, well, if you did it pre hard mode, it would be a lot easier because I missed the golden blocks here and I came through here last time. Excuse me. I don't miss golden blocks. I mean, I don't need them to be honest, but I still don't miss it. Uh, looking for machine life fruits and some profite. I'm not seeing either of those right now. It's really frustrating. If you guys see me missing a bunch of profite or life fruits, you are allowed to legally there's a life fruit. There's a mothron. There's a mothron. It's not actually a mothron, this is actually just an innocent moth. It's literally an innocent moth in the jungle, or innocent like, and then I just murdered for no apparent reason whatsoever. So you can actually make life food farms. What you can do is you farm out giant straight areas like these, and life food will spawn on them. Uh, it's not that they guarantee this spawn, I just find that it seems to me that it's a little bit more likely that they spawn. And then what that will do, obviously, is that will allow you to... You know, I just realized, even if there's like food stuff that I want, Right now I'm not getting it because I've got a bunch of shit in my inventory that I actually... Oh, I can't get rid of that, but that's too good. And I am dying. I'll give it a little mud block. Okay, there's another Pantera's valve, which is cool. So now we are at the area where we need to be because there's nothing here. 
Oh, I'll be just like questions. Why not? Reuse. You guys see why I made 20 Spelunky potions and not just like 5? Yeah, I see. It goes up. Get some chlorophyte. Go get it. I see, look, I'm a very simple man. I see chlorophyte, I get chlorophyte. It's very easy. And then while I'm getting chlorophyte, I. Ooh, there's a mushroom biome here. We should uh, go check it out. And if I see a life fruit, then I'll go get a life fruit too. And I see if I happen to just see a life fruit right here. Look at that, beautiful. It's almost like that life fruit was meant to be. Now the reason why I haven't used the life fruits to up my life fruits is because I want to make sure that if I accidentally knock down a life fruit that I don't see, if my inventory is full, I won't pick it up. But if my inventory is not full, which is not, I will pick it up. Make sense, guys? I think so. Oh my god, that guy is still 85 damage. Hello. Why is everything trying to hurt me? What is happening? Why, why do you all hate me? What have I ever done to any of you guys? I don't even know any of you. I just got you. Is it like the spawn rate has increased dramatically? Or I'm just missing something right now? Yeah, I think it's like the spawn rate has increased dramatically. Or I'm just missing something right now? Oh, I have no idea what's happening, but I feel like a lot of things are dying in a gruesomely painful, agonizing type of way. And I kind of feel a little bit bad. Okay. Let's see if there's anything to get rid of. Um, or oh, not life roots. Spike nature's gift. Yeah. Jungle rose? No. What is a spike? I don't even know what a spike nature's gift is. Six mana reduced suit. That's pretty cool. I've never actually seen one of those until now. Um, let's see if here we can pick up the of value. And when I say value, I am literally referring to stuff like that. The golem banner. You know, it's something I, I would have not had. But for all, it's fine. I, I guess we get rid of idle and turn off. I think that's fine for now. Well, the reason I'm doing it like that, obviously, is I want to pick up all the other goodies. Mainly because there were some enemies that spawned that kind of dropped new stuff. Like, I definitely don't need a hookster. And I was hoping to get good stuff out of it. You know, let's go get this uh, Chloro Fight down here. I keep getting distracted from the Chloro Fight farm, guys. We've only got 360 pieces again, so we need a little bit more on this. Mm -hmm. We are farming the Chloro Fight pretty effectively. If you ever see a turtle, take the board out, because turtles will murder your body. These angry trappers and the turtles, I think, are probably like the most scary enemies for us right now in the game. Once again, I still do feel that like having 90 armor in the game, 90 by the way. Just remember when why I got on about 90. You might think, well, 90 isn't a lot, it doesn't unlock. But think about the start of the game. You would buy armor that would increase your armor by one or two. One or two. I now have armor that have increased my armor by 15 points. From 75 to 90. This is like. At this point in the game, that is insane. That is a lot. There's a lot of fucking armor. Dude. I guess a lot. It's not, it's not a, it's not a minuscule amount. It's an impressive amount. Yeah, somehow I'm getting very lost in this game. It's okay. We all could get the game. Just make sure we keep our eyes out for li uh, life boots and go fight. Got about a minute left on our uh, splunk brush, so let's make sure we utilize it. I feel like this is how I should have been farming titanium and all those things back then. I should have been using these blanket potions, but I don't know how to make them and I was too lazy to actually just speak to the guy and figure it out like I am doing now because I've actually decided to take them a little bit more serious. Well, because I was just watching my own gameplay in my edits and I was like, you kind of suck at this game by the way, dude. I don't know if anyone's ever told you. I kind of want to heal myself, but I can't. Um, so I was like, no, 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 it's time for me to actually to man up and start playing the game. Now the, the pickaxe axe that we got, you guys might think, ooh, pickaxe axe, that's a pretty good axe. It must be really good, right? It's probably really, really strong, right? It does a lot of damage, right? Uh, it is pretty good and it can uh, farm glorified, which is cool. But it actually cannot farm the jungle temple. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. I literally even, look, I'll show you. I need one level. Cannot farm the jungle temple. The jungle temple is only farmable by a pickaxe you get from the golem. Which, in, not to be funny game, Terraria devs and designer and the people who made this game choice, it does seem a bit counterintuitive. You gave me a jungle creeper, what are you doing in- Oh no, there's another mushroom biome here. 
Mushroom biomes are intimidating and scary. You do not, you don't understand. You guys haven't felt pain until you've died with mushroom biomes. I just got hit by one of those guys. He can 79 damage. Okay. Although, as I mentioned, we do need, uh, we are going to be in a mushroom biome a lot. Because mushroom biomes give us um, truffle worms. And we need truffle worms to fight the duke. To fight the duke. We need truffle worms. You cannot beat the duke without the truffle worms. I haven't seen a live gym, a live put in quite a while. Or was it was just me. Or have I missed a couple? It's a very high chance I missed a couple. My first assumption is going to be that I missed a couple. That's going to be my first assumption. This guy, this fish doesn't understand what a fish is. That's fine. You know we've all been there. We've all been there. We haven't understood what a fish is or what a fish does or why a fish even exists, you know? I'm going to go down here a bit. Look for some cool. There's a light jam. Very nice. Ask and I shall receive, as they say. There's some not really seen a full phase and I go back to the rain for the change. I felt like I hadn't seen one in quite a while, so I'm very happy that we found one. A nice titanium vein right next to the chlorophyte vein, that's always good. I mean we don't need titanium at all, but uh can I put these? Oh, those are big ones. Uh I feel like I could use the small ones if I use the big ones, but it's okay. Why am I even carrying big ones around? Uh, do I want titanium or probably not? The thing is, it is a rare-ish item. What is definitely not going to be a rare item for us? Granite bro blocks. We definitely do not need or want granite blocks. Okay. There's a nice little. There's some nice little something. Gucci. Delicious. Uh, just like I've always wanted. I don't see any life gem. There's a life gem right there. I'm like, I don't see any life gems, guys. And there's literally one just sitting right there. Got him. I'm gonna get the chlorophyte too. It's gonna be a two point special. Up in here. I'm gonna get that chlorophyte and I'm gonna get that life gem. What then? What then, guys? This is acting busy. Okay, um, back up here we go. See a little bit of a fight here. I literally I cannot get up here. It's impossible. It's the uh, no game in the world could actually get there. It was a uh, myth. It's not an actual area. That, oh, there's hallow here. We in the hallow biome too. So we are. It's a hallow. It's a hallow jungle hall temple biome. Nice. I mean that's some Gucci biome right there. Baby. Look up here. Got some crystal, we don't really care about. We got some chlorophytes, we should do care. How much is that? Almost 600. I think 600 chlorophytes, 100 bars. I, I, I truly think if it's 100 bars aren't enough, then, then I don't know, dude. Then I don't know. And maybe chlorophyte is not the way to go. Here's a giant mithril vein that was just never found by me when I wanted mithril. Also, one of those like slightly frustrating situations, but what can you do? I will mine it out though because I, A I can and B why not. And if you can mine it out, mine it out. Oh, what is my only problem with mining guys? I want you guys in the comments to let me know what I hate about mining the way I'm mining right now. Let's uh let's say if someone gets it right, I'll send the next episode with Remember I pre-record these way ahead of time, so there's literally no way for me to see what viewers are gonna say and stuff but I will make it that I'll give it a let's give it a two day limit I'll, I'll wait two days before I release next episode that is going to be pre-recorded a week before that episode even the first episode even airs so but let's say I'll give it a week I'll give it two days and then see if any viewers can guess what is the thing I hate the most about mining chlorophyte ore in this game and any all for that matter i want i want you guys to answer i want to know what your answer is there's a nice car for the in there i was not looking for it because that, that's because i think that's the that's the most obvious one right so I'll, I'll give you that one i'll tell you it's not looking for the all that's the problem i don't actually have a problem with it because apparently you can just make some and it was insanely easy but uh there, there's a specific reason why i don't like farming or or farming the way i'm farming right now um, at all, it's like it's 
it's like it hurts, it's, it almost physically hurts me. It's just give you a few more hints and clues because I'm a nice guy. I want to give you the best chance you can have to get it right. Go down here. First of all, I want to know about that. I guess I'm having a, it's a mystery. Do you guys see any more life fruits? I think we have more than enough life fruits, but I wouldn't mind a couple more if I could. How much we had? 12? Yeah, so we can get to max HP, so we don't actually need more life fruits. Okay. Let's look at the map. I feel like I've explored most of the map, really. I kind of feel like there is really not much area left to explore for me. Do you guys feel what I'm feeling now? I've also kind of run out of my spelunky bush. This, this, this spelunky bush. Which means I could take it to Another mushroom biome. I wonder if mushroom biomes and granite biomes are like uh, normal. Let's see who this. Just checking if there was any um, truffle worms. Any truffle worms that everything she's for? That would be kind of nice. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought I ran out of torches again. I was like, really? I ran out of torches again, dude. We got it done. Let's take this way. See where uh, this leads. First, just place the torch right there, and then let's take this way. We're gonna dig a little bit more, a little bit deeper into the jungle. Kind of feel like I'm leaving the jungle now, though. Yeah, we are. Awesome. I think that's fine. Let's go back to base. What do we get? We got 635 chlorophyte. We got a bunch of banners. We got a bunch of life fruits. Can you do anything life fruits? Like. Is there any reason to get them though? So once you've maxed out, so let's do it. Bam 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 bam. We are maxing our HP. And it feels we actually do not have enough life boost to max our HP. I was wrong. We need <laughs> What? We need one, two, three, four, five. I had twelve and I still don't have enough. I thought I had more than enough. Well, the more you know, ladies and the more you know, let's quickly quick stack all our shit and let's do this. And let's take this and let's go speak to the guy. Yo dude. Can I make, what can I make with the wax? A bee armor and a bee hornet staff to summon a bee. What can I make with the fleeting nature's gift? We can make a mana flower, mana potion. Um, okay, that's an odd one, but I guess we'll do it. Give me a mana potion, please. And then go over here and then make a mana flower. A I don't know if I've ever seen that actually in this game, ever, by the way. Can't make anything with those. That's kind of cool. It ended up being good. This is a vanity item. This, nope. This, nope. Uh, this, nope. This, nope. What can we make with mana potions other than that? Nope, only that. Okay, cool. Good. Uh, quick stack and let's put our accessories away since we got a new one, you know. Here you go, you can be there, and you can be there. And the vanity item can be quick stack. I thought we had one in our vanity items. Guess not, there we go, boom. Uh, and then we get a new banner. So put the new banner away, bloop, and let's go over here. Let's quickly quick stack. Let's go over here, let's quick stack. Let's go like this and make some more clarified bars. I'm gonna make all of it into clarified bars. Uh, I'll make 90 clarified bars. I uh, was going to use it all to make clothes, and I realized, uh, no. Okay, let's see what else we can make with clothes. So we can make clothes armor. See, 13 defense, 25 defense, 7 defense. So let's say we go melee, that's 25 plus 18 is 35, 43 plus 13 is 56. We are getting 21, uh, 48, and uh, 65. So we're getting a little bit more out of the turtle. Oh, are we getting more out of the turtle? We actually are getting more of the turtle. Yeah, we're getting like an extra seven out of the turtle armor, which is great. Uh, roughly, we, it's probably my massive problem. Clorified drill, clorified pickaxe. It just gives you one plus range. I think I don't think it can. I don't think it can mine the temple. I'm pretty sure clorified great axe, clorified chainsaw, clorified war hammer. It's a hammer. Uh, clarified jackhammer. I guess it's also a hammer type, maybe? 
Chlorified Shortbow, Chlorified Saber, Chlorified Claymore, and Chlorified Partisan. So I'd like to know if any of these Chlorified things, such as the Chlorified Saber, fusing to anything, but I, I don't want to waste Chlorified right now. What I'm going to do is just make more Chlorified Bullets as much as I can. Because, as I mentioned, I do want as many Chlorified Bullets as possible to fight my boy, Pantera. Okay, so we got about, what, 200 and something? 2,800. That's pretty good. Let's put away the Spelunky potions because we're not going to need them. And I'm going to get a bunch of buff potions. So get the insurance potion. Get the... Uh, where's my iron skin potion? Iron skin potions. Did I put all my iron skin potions in here? Let's go to the other chest. Why is this door closed? Let's go to the other chest again. <laughs> Yo, chest, what's up? And uh, let's get all the day bloom. Get actually stay all. Fine. Give me all the good stuff. There's a bunch of day bloom down there to mine, so we're gonna go mine it up. Mine, 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 mine. So I, I've noticed the fire uh, plants aren't growing at all, and I don't know if that is because I need to be in hull or surrounded by lava or ash or something like that for to grow i don't know all i know is it's not growing that's all i know all i know is not growing so is these grow these did grow water seeds i don't know what i need them for but they grew so we'll, we'll take them i think they all grew yeah they all grew dang him son so now i think we should have enough day blooms to get through the rest of the game i'm pretty sure if I don't, I'll be semi-surprised at this point because that is a lot of day blooms that we just picked up. It's like a, it's like an actual lot, by the way. So it's fine. What else do we get? Uh, silver thorn, blink with no, water leaf no, moon glow can be placed. Those aren't supposed to be here. Okay, so I guess we just do this and oh god, I made a mistake. Oh god, I made two mistakes in a row. Six. I made two very large critical errors and I lost some valuable items. That's okay. What I wanted to do was this and then I wanted to do this and I wanted to go like this. Yeah, let's get a little bit of uh, water leaf I guess then for the rest. This is really doesn't matter. I'm still very upset that my beautiful trap that I went through a lot of effort to design doesn't work. Why? Don't you work? I don't understand. There's very clearly something about it that I'm not understanding exactly how it works anyway. Back to your base. And I'm gonna make some potions, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get a little bit of a honey buff on us and uh, we are gonna go fight. The Plantera, and I'm not saying we're going to beat Plantera, I'm specifically saying we are going to go fight Plantera. I want to make that very clear, ladies and gentlemen. We are fighting Plantera today, we are not specifically beating Plantera. And I think if I kill the bulb, Plantera will spawn and all the enemies will despawn. But just to be safe, I'm going to take care of all the enemies on the stage first, because they are going to be my way and annoying, I'm pretty sure. So, let's try to get rid of as many of them as possible, if not all of them. So we can have a clean Pantera fight. Okay. So, kill this last guy. Congratulations, last guy. You are the second last guy to die. Apparently, there's a spider that will be the last guy to die. And there's an anger trapper that has to go. Because it'll be very annoying if the anger trapper attacks us for 100 plus damage while you're fighting Pantera. But anyway, that's for you. I'm ready to do it. Boom. Pantera should come. Actually, I want that more up there and more up there. And then. Let's fucking go buff ourselves and go time baby. So as you can see the clarified bullets will find Pantera no matter where Pantera decides to hide from me. It ain't gonna help Pantera. I buffed myself everything. I did unfortunately not have a lot another rat potion, so uh, I'm a little bit upset about that because I would have loved the rat potion. But we eventually will wear Pantera down. It's taking a little bit longer than I thought it would take. I feel like my damage output is not actually as high as I thought it was, which is a little actually fine of extremely wise right now. Because this is the easy phase of Pantera. Once Pantera goes into phase 2, things are going to get extremely scary. Uh, Pantera is shooting now at us, which is obviously not what we want. Because we never want to really take 
damage from Plexer if you can, but keep an eye on our HP, keep an eye on our buffs. We are made a shit ton of potions. Just keep shooting Plexer for five bullets. They will find Plexer, so I don't have to find Plexer myself. You don't need to actually be good at aiming. It works out great for someone like me. But yeah, gotta just be very careful that Plexer doesn't make too many shots on me. We'll get on. I'm actually gonna pop a G here so we can get off cooldown because I think that would be a good idea. Oops, there was some bouncy bouncy there. Plexer is about to hit that half HP section. Once Plexer hits that half HP section, I think Sarah is going to become a beast like you have never seen before. So let's get ready for it. It's coming soon. Just keep moving as much as you can though. There we go. Now Plexer is in beast mode. Once Plexer gets beast mode, you need to move. And you need to never stop moving. And you need to pretty much just be moving. And I'm actually going to change to my melee weapon here for this phase a little bit. Just to try and kill the little back, the minions in the back. Because they are kind of annoying. And I would like to, if possible, just kill some of them off. It's already working up here, so I'm going to do this, this, switch this, and I'm just going to go. And we're going to fucking keep going. And we are in a very, very bad position right now. I feel like I'm not winning this war against Pantera right now. I feel like Pantera is actually winning the war against me a little bit. But that's fine. I'm just going to keep maneuvering as best I can. Keep the shots going. Just keep the bullets flying. The homing missiles will hopefully do their job until I can get a, a heal in one second. And the heal is out. We are moving as fast as the little legs can go. Without wings, of course, we do move a little bit slower than what we would have probably liked to have moved in this situation. But that is life. And life is tough. And life ain't always going to be easy, baby. And you need to accept that fact. And just keep moving your little body as fast as your little body can be maneuvered. And then keep going. We are slowly, slowly wearing down Pinterry here. A little bit by little bit is actually going not too bad. Until I got stuck a little bit. And Pinterry got on my butt. And my HP is very low. And I'm trapped. And I'm dead. And I'm over. I need wings to fight Pinterry because I can't actually maneuver on the stage as you can tell. So without wings the Pinterry fight is going to be a little bit harder now. The only big problem we have is that there isn't a, another Pinterry Bob available. We're very close by so... That kind of sucks the big one, but yeah, somehow my campfires were destroyed. My campfires were destroyed, that's a problem. So we're going to need wrath potions, I think, uh, to buff ourselves damage-wise, because our damage just wasn't high enough. Or we're going to have to reroll the, the, the Mega Shark's unreal. It's not going to get stronger than it is right now. Then my campfires get destroyed in there. I feel like that's the case. Let's go find out quickly. So yes, it actually looks like my, for some reason my campfires got destroyed. Probably, I wonder if Pantera destroys them. Pantera might just destroy them, but I don't know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly then do this. So we can just plant the, um, uh, think about this. We have all these irritating guys, obviously, because they're in my way. Okay, uh, mud, papa, eight, oh my word. I always forget how insane the jungle is. Okay, so eight. Uh, oh, sorry, eight. We're a little bit higher than this, if possible. Oh my god, dude, I'm pushing every wrong button. I'm all pissed off by the Pantera fight, so I can't focus on the actual game now. Campfire. There we go. Where are my twins? I hope I had the twins in that fight. If I did not have the twins in that fight, I'm very upset. Because I almost won it, it was very close. Now, our big problem is this, that the fact that we don't actually have a Pantera bulb here. Uh, to use to some Pantera, so that's how I will say is our only big problem we have right now. The fact that we do not have a Pantera box. I'm destroying all these plants on these levels in the uh, vain hope that it helps me spawn. But there's a Pantera bomb, never mind. We actually have a Pantera, another Pantera bomb. So we could actually fight Pantera again. I don't know if I want to fight Pantera right now, though. I guess if I could reach it up enough, I could. Well, if I was 4 HP, I would. But the thing is, I think the jungle spawn rate is so high that if I fight Pantera right now, there's going to be too many enemies and I'm going to never be able to reach that HP I want to be at to fight Pantera. You know what I mean? Does that make sense, guys? But I do see that there's a Pantera and it is very tempting. Let's also place the other campfire somewhere like here, maybe. Hopefully, hoping that Pantera doesn't destroy it, basically. Uh, you know what? If we can get to full HP by Pantera Bar without taking damage again, I'll summon Pantera and give it one more go. Why not? What have I got to lose, really? I still have all the buffs, right? Yes. Okay, um... What is this? There's nothing, okay. 
What is the time? AM. That is morning, so we wouldn't even get a buff from that. If I reach into 4 HP, I'll do it. There's also the, po the, the possibility of potentially getting our HP up to 500 before we fight Panther. It's a tiny little bit of a boost, but the question is how much of a boost will it really give? Let's do this quickly. So we're almost at like the HP I want to be at, which is fine, but at the same time, like there's a lot of enemies down there, and I'm not sure if I want to go do Pantera with that. So maybe what I want to do is just quickly take out these guys to the best of my capabilities. Giant Tortoise Banner. I've actually killed enough Tortoise to the Banner. That's crazy. A Godly Yellow. I got a Godly Yellow. Whatever the fuck that is. Okay. I feel like I've killed most, if not everything here. So the twins are summoned. Let's summon them again just to make sure. Get that out. Go here. Buff. Planter. Buff. Planter. Get four. Get down here quickly. Do it like here and here and then do this. Pantera has a look. I understand Pantera has a look more ways. I'm very sorry for this uh, random dude. I'm pretty sure he's about to die to Pantera. Okay, I really need to focus on damage on Pantera, man. Really gotta focus on Pantera as well. I'm going to put a little bit closer to these maybe. A little bit of this action. So I'm just going to keep trying to do this like circular pattern I was doing. It was working pretty well and then I fucked it up at the end. But I started panicking and because I was panicked I wasn't paying attention to what I should have been paying attention to. And that was my moving. Uh, keeping my circular movements going. So we always keep that beautiful situation. And let's also not use the heal until it's absolutely necessary. We do have at least 200 HP levels I think. So it should be fine. But as you guys saw, once Pinto hit that second ball, Pinto just became a different kind of beast that you didn't want to have to deal with at all. Now if you have wings, obviously you can fly here and then you can maneuver better. So that, that, is, a, that is a huge thing to keep in mind. Because maneuverability against Pinto. Is pretty much critical. There we go. Panther is hit the second form. This is the critical form, very much. This is where things get super serious, and this is where you want to be very careful not to do what I just did and fuck up your movement. Because fucking up your movement is going to cost you about 100 HP every time. And I fucked up my movement three times in a row there, so that was like 300 HP down the drain. But you ain't really getting back that easily. I'm too slow. My form is about wings, I'm too slow. Without wings, I'm too slow, baby. Not really much I can do. In fact, I'm just so slow. Pantera gets me on every turn. I make pretty much. I make a turn, Pantera gets me. Also, one of these, one of these, and back to shooting. And down and up and up and down and down and up and up and up and down. And down. 10 seconds on our heal, baby. 10 seconds on our heal. We actually killed a couple there. Oh. One second, one second, G yeah, I got the G off. Actually, they get the G off. Oh god, no, I pushed the wrong button. I pushed the wrong button, I'm gonna die because I pushed the wrong fucking button. Don't do this to me, game, not like this. Not like this, game. Oh, I pushed the wrong fucking button. I pushed E, and it took me into an awkward position, I died. Okay, guys, I think, like, at this point, you can tell I don't have the movement speed necessary to move fast enough in the game to actually kill Pantera with what I have. I have no choice but to get wings at some point because until I get wings, I'm gonna just die to Pantera over and over because you physically can't outrun Pantera without wings. Pantera is too quick. Uh, Pantera just moves too fast. And uh, without the wings, I just can't move that fast. I'm trying my best, obviously, not to do with wings. The other option, of course, is that I buff the base more, I guess. I just physically make the base larger. Um, 
extend the length of the base so I have more ro running room, I guess I could do too, but I'm not sure if that's something I want to do, but I'll decide that on the next episode. For now, I'm just going to end the episode here because there's no point to fight from three and we will just die and I'm wasting my purified bullets. I'm down to half already. And we are not killing Pantera, which means I will run out of bullets against Pantera, which means I need to make more chlorophyte bullets. Chlorophyte bullets are obviously very expensive to make and very rare, so it's not like I can just waste chlorophyte bullets attempting Pantera over and over. So I actually do at some I actually do at some point need to find the solution to the Pantera fight, um, which is either making wings, so our maneuverability and our speed increases or extend the stage so I've got more area to move around so that there is more I can run for longer before I have to rotate because it's the right it's the rotations that are hitting me every time also did my campfires get destroyed I hope not I'll go look I'll go check that out off camera for now thank you guys very much for watching this episode of to if you enjoyed please be sure to hit the like subscribe button it helps you out my video appreciate I'll see you guys next time more to warrior where hopefully we can kill plan terror but we only know that next episode for now thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time